going to teach you how to make ramen. Ramen's, um, well it's actually a Chinese soup but um, it's very popular in Japan and it's a great way to just use up leftover um, leftovers from you know that you've got just lying around and you don't know what to do with them but also because today even though it's summertime it's actually quite cold and grey so it's a great way to warm up it's great whenever you've got a cold and it's just very quick and easy and super delicious so I'm gonna just show you one of the ways of doing it um, well the basic things you will need is actually you need garlic ginger I've got chili here because I like it quite spicy I've got um, two different um, stock cubes I've got chicken and beef and this thing here is um, it's a type of seaweed it's called kombu and uh, you can get it in any Asian supermarket and it really makes a big difference it flavors if you don't have it it doesn't matter we've done it plenty of times without it but um, it's just really uh, delicious well obviously one of the main things you need for um, for ramen as well is noodles I've got rice noodles here if worse comes to worst you can use just you know um, spaghetti now you know we also we make our own pasta very often but this is this is quite a, a happy medium it's um this is vermicelli it's quite thin you can make it with different thicknesses this is not really ramen noodles but you know um so obviously soy sauce is something that you will need for this recipe i've also got this is called um mirin it's um it's also for flavouring. Now you don't, again, if you're only making this once, just don't bother buying it. But if you make it on, like, regularly, it's one a nice thing also to put inside. And this thing, if you want things to taste Asian, uh, sesame oil is the way to go. It just makes everything taste Asian. It's, it's fantastic. Um, Today what I'm going to be putting in is frozen peas and frozen um, frozen shrimp. You can put uh, leftover chicken. You can put you can put anything you really feel like putting inside. You can um, you know do so. So um, this is the ingredients we're going to use today. So actually, actually, also what I forgot. It's just there. You can put so much in here and it just flavors the soup and it's fantastic. Um, so what I actually forgot to mention is, well, we've got these, well, it's not really spring onions, but that's because we got it from a farm. So it's, you know, it's an in-between, but spring onions are great in it. And mushrooms, mushrooms just give it such a lovely flavor and texture. So um, I've got different, different types of mushrooms. It's really a way of being very creative and playful. You just, um, you know, you just use even plain mushrooms from your supermarket shall do, um, even tin mushrooms will do, um, again as I said just put anything you feel like putting in just put it in and it'll taste really good. Okay so what we're going to do next is, um, well I've just got I've just got an empty pot here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put um, the pasta, the vermicelli inside, uh, not pasta, noodles. And um, I've got a recently boiled kettle here, so I'm just going to pour it over. Because these are so fine, it will be enough to actually just put um, warm water on it, hot water on it, and just set these aside for the moment. Same thing with my frozen stuff. Um, just put them in a container, put some hot water on it. And just forget about them for the moment. I've prepped some of my vegetables here, so I just chopped up all and crushed the garlic. Um, so next thing is, we're going to go to our soup. So just take some water. This should do for two people. And. Um, so first, I'm just going to put in my um, my kombu, put it in there, 
and my star cubes and what's that got, what that's going to do is it's going to start creating the base of my soup and um, wait until it starts getting warm you know until you start until you start seeing a little bit of steam coming up and then we're going to add the other ingredients so here are my pasta I keep saying pasta. My noodles are pretty much instantly soft, you, you know, but they're still what they call al dente. And that's all you want for the moment because the soup is gonna it's gonna continue cooking them. So just drain them. Same with the um, frozen, unfrozen shrimp and um, and peas. So next thing I'm going to put my garlic, ginger and chili into the broth. Stir around a little bit. Same with these um, the um, the spring onions and with the mushrooms, I've got these oyster mushrooms and I'm just going to break them up. You know, get some nice chunks in there because, you know, you're going to be eating them with chopsticks and um, you want them to be easy to pick up. So, um, just giving you a little overview. These here, I don't even know what they're called, they're so cute. They look like they look like somewhere a fairy would live or something. And we just got these in a supermarket. Um, if you can find them, you know they are just. And you just break them up into chunks. You know, just again for chopsticks. And you just pop them in. You know, any mushroom. You know, you don't need to cut them. Just, just you know. Use your hands, rip them up, and um, just let this let this stew at a um, quite a low, you know, medium medium low um, temperature. And what that's going to do is, the longer you cook it, you know, the more flavor is going to go into the broth, and it's just going to be it's just going to be yummy. So this has been bubbling away for a few minutes. Um, next thing what you're going to do is just pick out the kombu because you don't want to eat it. It's just a flavour of the soup. So you take it out and um, next we're going to be adding some sauces. So obviously soy sauce. Um, soy sauce is used, you know, uh, for seasoning instead of salt. And it has that lovely, lovely rich flavour to it. This one is... Um, yeah, there's two types of soy sauce. There's the, the one for seasoning and then there's the thicker, darker one and it gives colour and it has a different flavour. Um, so this one is the is the lighter one. It's the one for flavour, uh, for seasoning. Um, next thing, mirin, obviously this is optional. Um, you could also put in a drop of sake if you have it. This, um, you know, has... Um, now do not put the um, the sesame oil in yet because it doesn't work well with heat so we're going to put this in at the last minute. What else we're going to put in is um, our noodles our, and our um, frozen things because the prawns are already cooked, you know they were, they were pre-cooked and frozen. We only need to heat them up. That's why we put them in at the last minute. And also the peas, you know, um, if you want your peas cooked through more, you can put them in earlier. We like them whenever they're still, you know, sweet and crunchy, not raw, you know, not like the ones that, you know, these these are frozen peas, so you can eat them straight away and they, they don't have that bitterness. They taste just really sweet and delicious and have that little bit of crunch to them. So, um, this is actually almost over. What we're gonna do is just mix it around and then 
Um, I've already, um, I've, I've poached an egg and just put it into this plate, and you know you're just gonna you're just gonna ladle your soup and vegetables on top of it. Um, use chopsticks or forks or things for for the noodles and um, you know drizzle some some uh, over it and this actually I think I missed a few There we go. Um, a plate of ramen. It's very good for the winter. Very good for the summer, as you can see, because um, we don't have much of a summer here in Ireland, unfortunately. And enjoy. Okay, so this is the finished dish here. Um, Henrik's going to taste it in just a few moments. Um, now, this is my version of the recipe, so it's not. The traditional Japanese way of making it. You can actually check that recipe. Um, you know, there's the channel Cooking with Dog. They actually have, um, you know, the real version of this. It's a lot longer. It takes two days to make, actually. So this is our simplified version of it. It tastes very delicious, anyway. So um, please try it out. Um, now Henrik's going to taste it. So I'm going to take the camera off him. And um, go for it. Ikadakimas. And you're supposed to slurp it a lot, making noise while eating it actually <laughs> makes it taste even better. Very good. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed it. Um, leave a comment if you've tried it, and we'll see you next time. Ohio!